Hello folks, Junkie Rock 13 that's my username here on YouTube. I'm just here bringing you a little video on what I like to title as the best way to quit smoking, in my opinion. Let me just tell you a little bit about myself. <clears throat> I started smoking cigarettes at the age of 13 years old. I'm 39 right now. Um, I tried Chantex, the medication. I've tried the patch. I've tried the gum. I've tried, there was another medication. I can't remember the name of it. But I've tried hypnosis. I've tried cold turkey. Um, I've tried, seems like everything that was on the market. And none of it worked. Chantex gave me nightmares. Hypnosis was a waste of $200. Um, the patch was a waste of money. That gave me stomach aches. Um, it just nothing worked. Nothing worked. And I wanted to quit smoking cigarettes. I couldn't stand them. I came to the point where I didn't like smoking them anymore. I was in a gas station one day. A little convenience store. I looked over and they had the electronic cigarettes over on the shelf. And I was like, you know what? I asked the clerk there, I was like, hey, you know, anybody buy those things? They're like, yeah, I'll tell you the truth, a lot of people come in here and buy them. I was like, really? Do you think they work? He's like, I don't know, I don't smoke. I was like, well, I was like, how much are they? He goes, well, this one's disposable, it's like 20 bucks or 10 bucks, something like that. I was like, you know what, let me just get one of those. And let me get a pack of cigarettes, too. <laughs> let me get both, just in case that wasn't going to work. So, I mean, I went out to the car, took it out, took a couple puffs off of it. I felt some smoke, or vapor, I should say. And the taste wasn't bad, but it, was like, it wasn't like smoking a cigarette quite uh, the same. So, what I did was went home, let my wife try it, she's like, well, it's not too bad, it tastes all right, but there's not enough vapor coming out of it, it felt airy, <clears throat> I said, yeah, I know, probably not going to work, that night I only smoked one or two cigarettes, regular cigarettes, while I was using that, um, the next day, I went back down to the store, and I seen a better, a better one, one that you put some cartridges in it. And I was like, let me try that one. That one was like twenty-five dollars. I tried that one. This one worked a little bit better. I was like, you know what? The really cheap one didn't work that well, and the little bit more expensive one worked a little bit better. I liked it. Kept me away from cigarettes that whole next day. I looked online, did some research. I found out there's a lot of products out there. And so I ordered myself a kit, my wife a kit. We both smoked. As soon as our kits came in, we got some e-liquid, some really fancy flavors too. We got some blueberry and coconut flavor and lemonade. It was nice tasty flavors. I also got some uh, some tobacco flavored juice because I was smoking. I wanted to continue smoking, I thought. Well, <clears throat> after my kids came, neither my wife or I has smoked a cigarette in little under a year since we bought those kids. <clears throat> and, excuse me, I need a drink. <clears throat> and ever since then, I haven't smoked a cigarette. And I got myself a nice little better one. Fan's blowing. We could see the vapor comes out almost like a cigarette sort of thing. I vape some really cool flavors. They got some really cool flavors. There's a lot of information out there. But a lot of people tell me, oh, you know, them electronic cigarettes, they're not good for you. They're, they can't be good for you. The FDA hasn't approved them. Um, 
and then you got people coming on talking about uh, there's 500 up to 500 milligrams of nicotine in one of those little cartridges there's not 500 milligrams of nicotine in one of those cartridges that's the truth um, the FDA hasn't approved electronic cigarettes but the FDA hasn't approved a lot of things um, but you also have to look at the FDA has approved medications like Chantex medications uh, like you see on TV all day long if you've taken this medication and had birth defects please call this lawyer because we're gonna sue them because there's been numerous amounts of birth defects the FDA approved them um, there's tons of things that the FDA approved and all those products have been causing some serious serious problems not good research in my opinion I don't know why they haven't approved electronic cigarettes um, they worked for me and I know quite a few people that have worked for them. me and my wife have both have not smoked a cigarette since we got our kids now I'm not saying go buy yourself an electronic cigarette I'm not saying that I'm saying in my opinion electronic cigarettes have worked for me and I quit smoking with them. I feel better. I could walk up stairs and up hills. I'm not hiking with my kids. Didn't get winded. Um, I don't smell. I, I don't spend all that money on cigarettes. I mean I do spend money on electronic cigarettes but not nearly, not nearly as much as cigarettes. Um, my car don't smell anymore. My clothes don't smell. And you know what? I, I, I walk past somebody that's smel smoking a cigarette, and I'm like, oh my god, that thing smells so bad. Did I really smell that bad? And I know I did. But you really have to do your own research. Don't, don't take it from me. Maybe I can lead you in the right direction. There's forums. Um, I'll leave some links down below to some forums that you can check out. There's tons of vendors that sell stuff here on the internet. There's a lot of vape shops around around the country, around the world. Um, it's getting really big. And, and the bigger it gets, the better it gets of getting approved. It just works. I, I mean, just do your research. And, and if you are having problems with quitting smoking, look into it. You know, cigarettes have 4,000, over 4,000 chemicals. Uh, electronic cigarette, e-liquid juice, has uh, a few different chemicals. Um, propylene glycol. Now, the juice can be made of this stuff. Propylene glycol, um, vegetable glycerin, uh, food color, excuse me, food coloring. It could be food coloring in there, but um, food flavoring. food grade flavor I should say and um, and nicotine uh, that's the base products I mean there are some that put other that have vitamins in it and caffeine in it but that's I don't get involved in that stuff but anyhow it worked for me and you really should do some research and look into it don't listen to all the hype electronic cigarettes do work my opinion. Thanks for the video. Uh, thanks for watching the video. And um, for all my friends out there that are vaping, keep vaping. Don't let them tell you what to do.